What's up, TTC? It's your man Uptown. First of all, right, I like to say shots out to the DV One Pride Riders, Detroit Lions, the coaches, the players, the fans, and their team. Shots out to them and congratulations to them for beating my New Orleans Saints. Also, shots out to my man 313 Hitman. Y'all team's the better team. We virtually got our ass kicked. Man, we was never in that game the whole while. I don't know what to say, man, about this team. All I know is that there's something that just ain't working anymore. Drew Brees played perhaps his worst game that I ever saw him play as a Saint. I think he ended up with a QBR rating of some shit like 60 or something. Which really ain't good, especially when the week before that, he had a QBR rating of 140 plus. So, it is what it is, man. I don't really think that this team is really playoff material. I don't. I'm not really convinced of that. I know that there's certain entities inside the team. And when I say entities, I mean there's assistant coaches on this team that ain't really any good for the team. And I think now that it's starting to manifest itself in, in various ways. Stephon Anthony did get a few snaps in the last game. However, he got beat on a crucial touchdown reception by Theo Riddick, which is part of the reason why I've been hearing that he has been unable to get on the field because he's not able to digest the game mentally. And that falls upon the coach. I done seen so many different players come in the NFL and able to digest stuff the record amount of time. Yet, for some reason, guy who played middle linebacker for us all last season is becoming a no-show in the Dennis Allen coach defense. Go figure. Shots out, man, to the Detroit Lions. At one point in time, I thought that maybe we would be coming back in that game, especially after we scored a touchdown. Now with the margin down to, say, maybe eight points or something like that. All of those hopes were shattered on the blown coverage by B.W. Webb and Vaughn Bell. For some reason, the last couple of times that we played this team, we have made Golden Tate look like he's Jerry Rice or somebody. So, here it is, man. It's my crow. People in the WDN, Saints fans, I don't really see us, you know, really digging ourselves out of this hole this season. Although, the opportunity is there. The opportunity has been there, you know, the last few seasons. Let me say, man, shots out, man, to the whole WDN. Shots out to my man L. Jizz. Shots out to my man J. Live 504. Shots out to my man CB, Chad Benson. By the way, man, sub my man up. Sub my man J. Live up. I'm going to put both of their links at the bottom of this video. They need to get some shine. Shots out to my man Face Hunter. Shots out to my man 504 Flame. Shots out to my man Too Fun Arcade. Night War Soldier. Shouts out to everybody, man. Shouts out to everybody in the whole entire WDN and All Saints fans, period. Including that knucklehead seat. It's a tough season we going through, man. It's a test of our will, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? By 2017, I think that some heads should be rolling if we aren't a good team next season. I think if we not a good team next season, that Mr. Benson should seriously be thinking about a coaching change and a change in general manager. In fact, I think that he should be thinking about a change in general manager after this season. But that's just me. That's all I really have to say, man. So, who that, baby? Oh, yeah. For life. Uh -huh.